that uh, we do not take too much time uh, for the delegates. I heard somebody shouting, it's Valentine's Day today. We want to go and see our hubbies or our <laughs> wives. So we don't want to be between um, the, the delegates and um, other important things. Is it ready? Super. Video, please. Well, the day we've all been waiting for is finally here. Um, more than a thousand people will be on site. It's going to be huge. It's going to be big. We're going to be talking agriculture. We're going to be talking the role of science in that. I'm looking forward to welcoming all of you uh, to the ARC in our campus in Rotterdam. Please come through. reluctance to put money into getting this IP commercialized. You think there's something wrong in the way we think the seller? from Mintic Africa. We produce and process mint, taking mint e extracts to make oils. So we have our massage oils, we have hair serum oils, and we have essential oils. All these are organic oils under Mintic Africa, and we had an opportunity to sit at the AFC conference for the three days. What a wonderful time to network. My name is Silo Mogui, I'm from Honest Blood Biological Products. We are the largest state-owned animal vaccine manufacturer in South Africa. A platform like this uh, for us is actually quite a good opportunity to meet with fellow partners and stakeholders in the agricultural uh, landscape to really compare notes and, and harmonize our commitments and mandates towards uh, the farmers of South Africa. chairperson of the ARC and I must say it is fantastic seeing all the different organizations in attendance at the research conference at the Rueda campus. I want to wish them the best and I want to encourage them to have great conversations for future partnership so that we can get the food system um, sustainable and working for everybody in South Africa but also on the continent. Finally, finally we got to where we were supposed to be 30 years ago and finally we are able to get all agricultural scientists in the, south, in the country in one roof and for us to talk about science to try and find out how we can bring science to solve all food security challenges of the country. I'm so excited that finally after lots of work, a lot of hard work, we are here now, last day, but I'm happy this is just the, not the last day, it's the beginning of many years of uh, research in the country and many years of bringing all our best scientists together for them to give us solutions to our food security and food systems problems and challenges. Thank you, thank you very much. That is not fair. Um, I would still want 
to request uh, you to come over and for your closing remarks. Uh, I didn't see my boss in here, Dr. Mr. Srache. Is he in? Um, okay. Um, oh, there he is. It sounded like he was already saying his final remarks in the video. Um, just for the closing remarks, Ntatasarache, I would request you to please come over. If this is a support touch, you are good at it. So, we are done. <laughs> thank you very much, ARC. Thank you very much, the organizing team, the CEO, Dr. Lita, for just your attitude before anything else. So I'm not going to say this at your memorial service. I say it. <laughs> People were asking, why is ARC going down? I said, uh, I don't know. It's because there was the people who were there made it so difficult for anybody to want to work with ARC. You are hardly two years. Just your attitude just makes things happen. Thank you very much. So, May Isaacs, now you know why you are chair second term. You didn't know, so. <laughs> They'll tell you when we do these boards, we go somewhere into a hotel, lock ourselves in, and have 50 CVs to go through. And some of them are, we call them Dr. Lita, board career, careerists. Somebody sitting in 15 boards and all of that. But we, what we look for is quality. So we had the uh, ARC board starting on time. That's different for government institution. On time, the first one finishes, the other one starts the following, the following first of, what was the first? Third of July, the other one ends 30 June, first of July, new board, process done, minister appointed, everybody else. And we had you, May Isaacs. Thank you very much for being part of ARC. <clears throat> to the organizing team, Dr. Chaminuga, Dr. Fender, I pity you. You need rest. <laughs> it was when we, when we conceived the idea, it was when they stormed into my office one afternoon. And I kept saying, Dr. Fender, I'm busy. They just came. I said, I'll get you an office next door. She said, it's fine, but now, today you need to talk. So we we're going through the process and everything else with her, but just the positive energy was flowing. And we said, how can we let the country know that ARC is back from sabbatical? <laughs> so today is the day we are back. ARC is back. And what happened 30 years ago, we don't know. But instead of wasting time lamenting and blaming people, we don't have much time left. We just have to make sure that we grab the opportunity and dictate research in the country. Mr. Ndimande is here. He spoke about the National Agricultural Research Forum. This means all deans or faculties of agriculture in the country must be part. All other institutions that moonlight as agricultural research institutions must come and work with us. We don't have a problem, but they cannot do it on the side. People from CSIR are here. It's not a secret. They are doing agricultural research. So we are not going to fight with them. We are just going to nicely nudge them. That research, there is only one 
statutory agricultural research body in the country, and it's ARC. So, those who have interest in research, fine, welcome. But come do the time, let's do it here. We're going to start that process. It's not going to be an easy process because while we were on sabbatical, other, other companies mushroomed around. And I'm not saying anything about the levies, I'm just saying companies happened. And um, industry started their own whatever research, I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something. And we're not fighting them, we're going to say to them, come. Um, we're going to try, by all means, uh, Mayor Isaac, uh, now that you retired, so you have time. So together, we're going to knock on the door with Mr. Demand. I'm not sure why is he not here. Oh, are you here? Perfect. So I'm not gossiping, you're here. And uh, these witnesses here know that uh, you and I were sleeping on the job at the department. So we are up now. We're going to revitalize that. That should be done through ARC. It pains some of us to see agricultural research money going to NRF. Nothing wrong with NRF, but it can be done through here. CSIR here. University of whatever here. So that's what we're going to do this year, 2024. So the next job for us, Dr. McKingla, is that then demand to come into your office, we work out, we issue invitations. At least that one, Mr. Demande got the DG to delegate it to us. So we're going to already have the delegation from DG to start the NRF, the National Research Forum, this year. All the other research linkages are going to happen from ARC point. So thank you very much for, 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 for the organizing part, ARC. Let me tell you the secret. The team came, they said, now in 2024, yeah, this is the budget, yeah, CSIR, yeah, it's going to be this. I said, stop that. That's how people misunderstand you. What are you doing at CSIR? We're going to do that VIMP. Logistics, I said, no, logistics will see, we'll, we'll find a way under a tree, but it must happen at VIMP. Because they had already had a budget of using the CSIR facilities. That's when people are going to confuse you for something else. So it's done here today. Thank you very much. <laughs> scientists, all agricultural scientists in the country. Some of you are here, some are on the. Oh, you're saying, you're saying I'm taking long. Okay, let me finish quickly. All agricultural scientists in the country, online, attending here. Our message is simple from government. We've got problems. And you can solve our problems. We are giving you now until 2026. We think we are going to have the next one in 2026. By now, you have already applied a so what to your paper, right? If you didn't go do it, if you presented a paper here today, after at the end of your beautiful materials and method, ta -da -ta -da -ta -da -da, you must say, so what? Climate change, food security. If you then start afresh until you, you get to, uh, to answer the question, so what? Because we've got problems. We've got climate change, but let's not talk about climate change anymore. It's now at least it's useless. The climate has changed already. Planting states have changed. Cultivars are no longer as, as productive as they were. What prof will tell you now, they are now saying Nguni. Why, why, why do we, Nguni now performs better under heat? We all knew, but we did nothing about it. Now we must change and go back to that. We need to do, we worry about food and mouth disease. We cannot trade with other partners. And we know that there's Kurga National Park, there's Buffalo, so we know. Don't tell us about that. Find solutions. Tell us what, you need to do, what needs to be done. I was talking to other colleagues that because it's only us, ne? the wild birds don't fly inside the poultry house. They don't. 
So, let's now start. It's us. They're not listening to us. But wild pets don't go. Where are the vets? Wild pets don't go inside the, the poultry house. They don't. So let's start now being practical, find solution for the country, and I'm not closing the session, right? No. Yes, you must close it, because I, I thought you want me to close. I can't close your session. But thank you very much, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and we will send a report which captures all the work that happened, and you will have inputs and all of that, the process continues. From here, it's going to serve into the departments, and it goes through the process. MinTech is where DG meets with the HODs, and then MinMEC is where Minister meets with MECs. It goes all the way through, and there will be a lot of processes as we build up and make sure that we get funds for scientists to only worry about science. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Sarahe. You see how difficult it is to tell your boss, stop. <laughs> uh, Dr. Magin, um may you come for your intervention, please? Yeah. Right. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, <laughs> I must find my voice. Uh, it's been a long three days, um, but also a very exciting three days, I must say. Um, and uh, thank you, DTG uh, Sirach. Um, I think he has a way, you will agree with me, of really just, as he speaks, um, I would say, from what appears to be the cuff. <laughs> but I think um, a lot of it really is what exactly what we want to hear. Uh, exactly what we want to hear. So uh, let me just start by um, really acknowledging um, the chairperson of the ARC Council. Uh, please, you can clap, it's fine. I mean, after what uh, DTG Sirach has said about her uh, earlier today, she re probably deserves a second round. And I can, I can see her blushing. Sorry, Chair. <laughs> thank you very much, uh, Chairperson uh, Ms. Joyin Isaacs. And, and thank you for uh, allowing me to, uh, to take this uh, task of uh, sharing a few remarks um, as, as part of this closing ceremony. Um, throughout the, um, these last three days and until just a few moments ago, uh, we had three other council members with us uh, who participated uh, in this conference and they went through each uh, and every one of, uh, of, uh, of the panel uh, discussions and when it came to um, the uh, parallel sessions, they actually uh, drew up a schedule and they split themselves up. Uh, and those are members of the ARC Research and Development, uh, Research Development and Evaluation Committee. So when we go back to Council for Reporting as Management, we have our work cut out because uh, really um, they have uh, taken time to uh, get uh, closer to the work that is being done by our scientists and the work that we are doing uh, with a wide range of our partners. So we are very uh, grateful to all of them for being with us. Uh, during this uh, conference, these three days. Um, I, I, I do want to um, just take one second also, um, even though he doesn't need any um, um, uh, acknowledgement anymore because I think he's done a good job really uh, while standing here, um, that we all recognize the work that uh, he's doing and his input uh, into the work of the ARC and really supporting us uh, to be where we want to be and that's our DTG, uh, Mr. Srache. He, he, 
he came, he came, he was supported by some of uh, the DDGs, uh, actually, that you may have seen them, uh, some of them who were part of the conference from the first day with us here. Um, and, and we are very thankful uh, to, to all of them. And there are a number of other officials from the department, of course, who have been with us throughout uh, these past three days. And we are very thankful. One of them is actually running this session. And we are very grateful for, uh, for all the work that they have done with us. Uh, the Department of Science and Innovation was also here with us, represented by the DTG, DTG um, Warfare. And um, we are thankful for having um, them uh, participating in this conference. We have provincial heads of department um, and senior leadership from the departments. Uh, we had heads of entities, and I'm not sure if some of them are still around, but we do understand uh, people have uh, busy diaries, um, and, and some of them had their representatives um, uh, um, uh, joining us. Uh, we would like to also, I would like to take the opportunity to uh, acknowledge uh, some of the industry uh, partners that are still with us and those that have been with us over the last three days um, and um, the farmers. Um, the organizing team took a very conscious decision to actually have a very, very dedicated program for farmers during this conference. And you will have heard when the announcement were made uh, during the first day that some of them were going to go to Bronchospray and some were going to go to our campus, our animal production campus uh, in Irene. So we are very thankful that we had them uh, here with us and I would like to acknowledge them. Our academic partners um, who are still with us here and there's a whole range of them. And we have had a number of international partners uh, also joining us. Um, which we are very um, thankful for, uh, including um, some um, members uh, from diplomatic missions. Um, I, I know Germany was here, China was here, Brazil was here, um, and a number of others, the FAO, um, etc. I'm, I'm not going to um, uh, mention all of them, but we, they, they were well represented. Um, uh, and we have a number of other international partners, of course, that we work with, as you saw, um, the presentations uh, from Malawi, Wageningen University of the Netherlands, etc. So, all of them, um, I would like to take a moment to really acknowledge and thank them for being with us. Um, of course, my colleagues from the ARC are all in the room. Thank you very much, colleagues. And, and I'm going to, I'm sure we are going to, when our guests leave, we are going to have our moment, right? Uh, and, and, and acknowledge each other a little bit more. But, but I'm very, um, you know, uh, thankful for all of, of you to be. And of course, you ladies and gentlemen, um, and those that I haven't mentioned out. Let me just say all protocol observed, as we usually say uh, in South Africa, to make things easy. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure, really, um, uh, to stand in front of you this afternoon um, after I this momentous three-day conference. There are really no adequate words uh, to describe it. Um, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, as, and I think maybe we need to modify that and say even a video. <laughs> Maybe a video says a million words, uh, but you saw the video which kind of summarizes what we went through over the last three days, um, and it is beautiful, um, and I'm sure we, we will be able to share it on the different platforms. Um, uh, we are indeed uh, privileged to have lived this experience over the last three days. We started the day on Monday uh, with a very warm welcome uh, from our uh, Chairperson, Ms. Isaacs, and of course a, a very befitting opening address by our Minister of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development, uh, Minister Didiza, who affirmed the relevance and importance of the theme under which this conference uh, has been designed of food systems transformation as well as the role of science. Um, the Minister contextualized this uh, not only nationally in terms of the response to climate change, emerging pests and diseases, uh, but in terms of the African continental priorities and the global agenda of the United Nations, uh, building from the 2021 um, United Nations uh, Food Systems Summit. 
the importance of partnerships and multi-stakeholder consultation as being central to priority setting for the national science agenda and unlocking the full potential of science was emphasized by the minister. And it has been a recurring theme uh, throughout the discussions over the past three days. And I think DTG Saraha just um, put the final stamp on it this afternoon. Indeed, this conference has offered us an opportunity to see, listen, and understand what each of us is doing in our diverse yet interconnected disciplines and within our different organizations. The presentations, discussions, networking have also made us realize what we've been missing out on by working in silos. There is no doubt that we are stronger together than working apart. We cannot overemphasize the importance of collective innovation for food systems transformation and impact. The concept of food systems itself shows and emphasizes interconnectedness and multidisciplinarity as reflected in the presentations and the speeches delivered in this conference. As I was listening to the contributions, it's clear that we are facing very similar challenges. Numbers don't lie. Indeed, the fact that all stakeholders raise similar challenges means there are uh, some pressing issues that are common um, in taking our sector to the next level and in delivering uh, to its national, continental, and global commitments, and in particular, SDGs, um, looking at er er eradicating poverty, zero hunger, uh, and reducing all forms of uh, inequality and actions towards building climate resilience. Food systems transformation is fundamental to the attainment of all these goals, and agricultural research and technology is the bedrock upon which we can build. It's clear that in taking our sector towards building sustainable and resilient food systems, we must be inclusive in our approach. Involvement of youth, women, and people with disabilities is therefore going to be key. Investments in research and development are of course critical for this, and it gives me great pleasure once again uh, that the department uh, led uh, by uh, Mr. Sraha's branch has shown its commitment in this regard. DDG challenged all the key role players, including provincial industry and research um, and academia, to stop talking about these problems and come up with solutions. I am sure those, all of us who are involved in animal tracing solutions, for instance, um, had the call and will soon be delivering uh, these solutions um, to government, as this matter is a pressing one for our sector, and particularly farmers. As we have come to the end of this important gathering, I want to thank all the esteemed delegates that have honored our invitation from the ARC and DALRA to this conference. The minister who opened this conference, the heads of entities, the DDG, the DSI, DDG, and delegates, the HODs, captains of industry, ARC colleagues, DALRA staff, and of course, our biggest client, the farmers. I want to acknowledge and thank the support from the ARC Council Chairperson and the members of the RDE committee who have attended this conference diligently for the last three days. To DDG Sarakha and the leadership of the department, thank you, sir. We are honored as the ARC by the confidence you have placed on us. I want to also use this opportunity to thank the joint ARC Dalrat Conference uh, Organizing Committee. A and I think we must mention our service providers as well. It's okay to clap. I think they've done an excellent job. Um, um, as the DDG likes to say, let's not wait <laughs> to <laughs> deliver the flowers uh, when a person has gone. They've really exceeded our expectations and imagination in terms of this conference. These colleagues have shown us just how much we can achieve uh, when we work together with a sense of purpose and vision. We salute you. 
and I know I speak on behalf of all the delegates in this conference. With those words, I thank you. I now have the uh, honor um, to call upon the chairperson of the ARC Council to come and close the conference. Good afternoon, friends, friends of agriculture, because I'm hoping with this conference you've moved past just colleagues but into partnerships. Um, and I think it's just very appropriate to say thank you to everybody. Um, and I'm not going to keep you longer because otherwise I lose the bet with the CEO um, around the timing of this conference. So I formally close the ARC, Department of Agriculture, Land Reform and Rural Development, Agricultural Research Conference are now officially, formally closed for business. Thank you. Coffee. Step, I suppose. Th thank you. Thank you, delegates. Um, the conference has been officially closed now. But um, I just wanted to say um, at the beginning of this session, there was a video that was flighted, and uh, some of you were not here. So I would like to request the technicians to flight the video uh, for those that were not here. But, well, the day we've all been but lastly, uh, remember there is coffee after this. Don't forget to take your coffee before you go home. Thank you very much. Well, the day we've all been waiting for is finally here. Uh, more than a thousand people will be on site. It's going to be huge. It's going to be big. Uh, colleagues, one second, please. We are going to, uh, sorry to interrupt you. I have just uh, one last item. It's going to take no more than 10 seconds. I think with everybody that we thanked for this afternoon, we didn't thank our program director for this very important final session. And I would like to offer a small token of our appreciation as the ARC. Thank you very much, Dr. Mudisan.
name is Silomo Bui. I'm from Honest Report Biological Products. We are the largest state-owned animal vaccine manufacturer in South Africa. A platform like this uh, for us is actually quite a good opportunity to meet with fellow partners and stakeholders in the agricultural uh, landscape to really compare notes and, and harmonize our commitments and mandates towards uh, the farmers. I am the chairperson of the ARC and I must say it is fantastic seeing all the different organizations in attendance at the research conference at the Rudeplatt campus. I want to wish them the best and I want to encourage them to have great conversations for future partnership so that we can get the food system um, sustainable and working for everybody in South Africa but also on the continent. Finally, finally we got to where we were supposed to be 30 years ago and finally we are able to get all agricultural scientists in the, south, in the country in one roof and for us to talk about science to try and find out how we can bring science to solve all food security challenges of the country. I'm so excited that finally after lots of work, a lot of hard work, we are here now, last day, but I'm happy this is just the, not the last day, it's the beginning of many years of uh, research in the country and many years of bringing all our best scientists together for them to give us solutions to our food security and food systems problems and challenges. Well, the day.